Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the last class, we discussed about how to delete the bus details in this and uh, how to perform the paging operations within the grid view control. In this video, we will discuss how to perform the editing operations within the grid view control. So here, whenever user clicks on edit button, I want to perform the editing operations. For that initial, I will try to create the stored procedure here you see. To make the things faster, I will automatically generate the procedure here. Create procedure, procedure name is PROC underscore edit bus. And the input parameters I am passing at the rate SV number from place to place, capacity, arrival time, departure time, uh, travel agency name and bus type. Because here customer can edit the bus details. And uh, here I think SV number, the data type names must be same, so I'll declare as 50. And here uh, I want to update the bus details based on service number. So update bus set. From place is equal to at the rate from place, to place is equal to at the rate to place, capacity is equal to at the rate capacity, arrival time is equal to at the rate arrival time, departure time is equal to at the rate departure time, T name is equal to at the rate T name, bus type is equal to at the rate bus type, where SV number is equal to at the rate SV number. So here I am updating the bus details based on the service number press F5. So command completed successfully. Now here generally grid view control will generally display the data in two modes static mode and editable mode. Until user clicks on edit button, grid view control will display the data in static mode. Whenever user clicks on edit button, grid view will display the data in editable mode. Now here if you observe clearly, now grid view is displaying the data in static mode. When grid view is in static mode, then the code that was written within the item template will get executed. That is the data will be displayed within the label controls. And when grid view is in editable mode, then the code that was written within the edit item template will get uh, will gets executed and the data will be displayed within the text box control. Is it clear? So there is one property within the grid view control called uh, edit index property will be there. Here you can go to the design window and here you select the grid view control and uh, go to the properties. There you can see a property called uh, edit index property will be there. By default this property is minus 1. When edit index is equal to minus 1, then grid view will display the data in static mode. When user clicks on edit button, edit index, uh, uh, it will display the data in the next index. Is it clear? So in order to perform the editing operations within the grid view control, here we need to set a property called auto generate edit button is equals to true. So I already make that property as what? True. Auto generate edit button is equals to true. Here you can see the property. Right, uh, if you make false, uh, edit button is not displayed within the grid view control. Now when user clicks on edit button, then row editing event will fire. So select the grid view control events, there you can find an event called row editing event. Double click on row editing event and write the code. So here what we need to write the code, when user clicks on edit button, send the grid view control to editable mode. So here I will write some code like grid view one dot edit index, by default edit index is what, minus one. So I want to display the data in the new new index. So e dot um, new edit index. Is it clear? Again, I want to fill the data. So here I will call the same method fill bus data, which was written on the top. So here you debug and check the output. So here by default grid view is displaying in static mode. When user clicks on edit button, grid view will go to the editable mode. When grid view is in editable mode, why it, how it is going to the editable mode means? The code that was written within the edit item template was executed for that particular row and the data will be displayed within the text box. Editable mode means we can edit the data. Generally we cannot edit the data within the label, but here we can edit the data within the text box controls. Is it clear? So when user clicks on cancel button, again it has to go to which mode? Uh, static mode. So when user clicks on cancel button, then row cancelling edit event will fire. So here you can just go to the viewbus.aspx, select the grid view control and uh, go to the properties, there you can see events and uh, here you can see an event called row cancelling edit event, simply double click and again write the code, again send the grid view to static mode, so how to write the code for that, grid view one dot edit index is equals to minus one and again I want to fill the data, is it clear? Here you see when user clicks on edit button, grid view is in editable mode. When user clicks on cancel button, grid view is in static mode. 
in editable mode only we can update the data but in static mode we cannot update the data right so initially i'll go to the data access layer i'll just close the project close the browser here i'll go to the solution explorer and there i need to write the code in data access layer so within the data access layer we already have lot of methods we declared and now i'll declare one more region here hash region the name of the region i'll give as edit bus and uh, to make the things faster I'll automatically write the code so here you see i declared one method called public int the name of the method i'll declared as edit bus so here you see business object start business objects here i declared one method called edit bus and the written type of the method is int and for this method i am passing the input as obj bo step number 1 create the connection open the connection pass the procedure mention that we are working with stored procedure pass the parameters the number of values that you pass must match with the number of uh, parameters that are available within your stored procedure is it clear so here you can see uh, the service number obj dot service number from place to place capacity arrival time departure time travel agency name and bus type if the record is updated successfully then it will return 1 else it will return 0 so build the solution now here you can go to the business logic layer and uh, within the business logic layer also i want to declare one more method so here i will declare one region hash region the name of the region i will give as edit bus to make the things faster i'll automatically generate the code so within the business logic layer i'll declare one more method the name of the method i'll give as edit bus and for this method also i'll pass the business objects is it clear business objects dot business objects right now again here also i'll try to build the solution now i'll go to the presentation layer and within the presentation layer within the view bus dot aspx when user clicks on update button then row updating event will fire so double click on row updating and write the code so initially as i discussed in the previous session that did you will display the data in uh, editable mode we need to catch the controls so here so here when user clicks on edit button and for example if i wants to give the name here from visor to vishakhapatnam uh, similarly the capacity is 50 the bus arrival time is at 8 am and uh, departure time is at uh, 7, 8 pm and i want to change if i want to update any details i can update the details here based on what service number but i cannot update what service number so when user clicks on update button we need to catch all the values that are available within the text boxes so first of all we need to catch the controls that is the text boxes So initially, when user clicks on update button, we need to follow some steps. Step number one is count the number of rows that are available within the grid view control. Step number two, catch the index value of the row, that is the row index where user clicks on update button. Step number three, catch the controls that are available within that particular uh, row, that is the text boxes. And step number four, we need to catch the values that are available within the text boxes. For that, I will write some code here. So here you can say grid view row, grid view row, row is equals to grid view row of grid view row of. I'll explain the code. Here I will write grid view one dot grid view one dot rows of e dot row index. So what is the meaning of that? Here rows property is used to count the number of rows that are available within the grid view control. And e dot row index is used to catch the index value of the row where user clicks on the update button. Now within that row, I want to catch the text box control. So here I will write something like text box t1 is equals to text box of, and here I will write row dot row dot to find the control of. Uh, here you need to mention the ID of the text box. So go to the view box dot aspx, and here within the ID item template, you can see the IDs of the controls. Here you can see. The ID of text box one I will change as txt sv number, and text box two I will try to change as txt f place. So here I will change the IDs of the controls like txt sv number, txt f place, txt t place, txt capacity, txt departure time, txt arrival time. I change the IDs of the controls. 
so that you can easily identify the values. So now here I will try to go to the and where you can see my service number name is txt sv number. So I will explain that code. And now I want to cache the values that are available within that particular or I will directly create an object for business objects. Here business objects dot business objects obj by is equals to new business objects of now I will call the property obj bo dot service number is equals to t1 dot text. So what we are doing means uh, here rows property will count the number of rows that are available within the grid view control. E dot row index is used to cache the index value of the row where user clicks on update button. And within that particular row we are catching the control which control txt sv number and then we are catching the value that is available within the control. To make the things faster, I will try to catch all the values that are available within the controls. So, I automatically written the code here. You can observe. I catched all the values that are available. TXT, SV number, from place, to place, capacity, arrival time, departure time, travel agency name and bus step. Now, I will try to create an object for business logic layer dot business logic layer. OBJ, BLL is equal to new business logic layer of. Now, OBJ, BLL dot, what is the method name? Edit bus of pass the object obj bo and the return type of this method is int i so here i will write some so if i is equals to one display the message saying that updated else failed so here i will try to keep the breakpoint and show the flow of execution so that you can understand debug now admin wants to update the bus details you want to change update the timing something like 8 am to uh, 9 pm is it when the seats also 50 he want to update now here you can see for SV2 bus. So click on update button, then do updating event will fire F11, F11. Now see the values. Service number SV underscore 2. From place Hyderabad, to place Vizag. Capacity 40 to 50. Is it clear? We are setting the values to the properties 8 am. See, departure time is 9 pm. Travel agency name. Now presentation layer is interacting with what? Business logic layer. Now business logic layer is interacting with what? data access layer. Now data access layer is interacting with the database. The query is executed successfully. So it will return 1. That is data access layer will return 1 to business logic layer. Business logic layer will return 1 to presentation layer. And uh, it will display the message saying that record is updated. Go and check in the database. Here I will try to open the database and right click on bus. Edit top 200 bus 200 rows. Here you can see the service summary is sv underscore 2. Initially the seats are 40, 6 am and 7 am. Once when I try to execute, it was updated. I hope you understood. Right, so in this manner you can work with, we can perform uh, editing operations within the grid view control. For more updates, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos as well as you can uh, join my Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.